Hey everybody, it's Haley with HaleyWithTheFlare.com. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we are going to be trying Virgin Atlantic's upper class on their A350-1000. So excited to be bringing you this video. We had a long layover, so we spent some time at the lounge at JFK. There is a tour to follow on my channel if you're interested in that. But when it came boarding time, we went down the same international ramps. This was my dad's first business class adventure. And the plane is beautiful. There is a purple hue, so you're going to have to get used to that during this video. Very special trip for us. So one of the things that surprised me about this cabin is it felt more cramped than I was anticipating it to be. Um, I looked at other videos and I don't know why. I, I, I guess I just was expecting something a little bit more roomy on an A350, but compared to other cabins, overall the, the cabin just felt a little cramped in my opinion. Um, like I said, here's my dad. This is his first time ever flying business class. This was a very special trip for us, but still the cabin was beautiful. The one thing that was kind of a downside for me was the lack of the organization. I really liked the Neos. That's originally what I booked, but they had moved us to this flight. There just didn't feel like there was a whole lot of organization in this cabin. This is the goodie bag. I know it's recycled, but it's a little bit lackluster compared to other lines. And the slider does pop out a little. Mine was jammed and wouldn't go. TV pops out there. This is the tray situation. I will tell you if you are plus size, have a bit more in the belly. This could be a little bit of a struggle to you when it does come down just for a better angle. I had Olivia show it here. It does slide out, but you know, something to keep in mind if you are plus size and searching for a business class cabin to go long haul. This is what you could expect inside the goodie bag. You have a mask. I will say this is probably the most comfortable mask that I've received out of any of the goodie bags on different lines. Socks, of course. I swear my daughter has a collection of these. Then there is a toothbrush. There's some toothpaste, some lotions. I mean, overall, it's very similar to like what I've received on Delta. The bag itself was just a bit lackluster and because it's made from recycled products, it just kind of looks like it was crammed places and looks a little wrinkly. There's the pen that did come in handy later on in the flight. You will see here in just a moment. Of course, Olivia is going to show off these lotions so you can see what they are. They are from Ren and they are very, very nice lotions. All right, let's shift a little gear. Oh, Olivia forgot one. The lip balm. Always use lip balm when you fly. Here is the menu. I was super impressed by the menu. And one of the things that I thought was really neat about this menu is that they had a separate card for breakfast where you could kind of fill that out ahead of time, gave you a little bit more time to sleep and they could just prepare your trays and be ready. Big wine list, big drink list. The food, I will say overall, was very, very impressive. Well, it's time for takeoff. I had my pre-departure beverage. They also come around with pajamas. These are only available in small, medium, medium, large, and large, extra large, just so you know. Their takeoff video is super cute. Here's the storage, and there is this little side piece that does come down if you need a little bit more room. I know I felt better with it down. And then before dinner, they brought out some chips, which were really, really good. They gave us another beverage. Here are the trays down. They bring out a little mat for food. Um, this is the lounge area that was back there. You can have afternoon tea and snacks, but since we were just going to London, this was a quick six hour flight for us. So it didn't really have time. The salt and pepper shakers are so cute. On the bottom, it says pinch from Virgin Atlantic. So people will know if you take them. The duck was really great. I really enjoyed this pasta dish. The chocolate cake was great. My dad really enjoyed it, especially. When you leave, they will offer to make up a bed for you. This is the most comfortable bedding I've ever had on a flight. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. This was the breakfast spread of what I ordered. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.